Let's just lift our hands and give God praise, everybody. Hallelujah. All our lives, all our lives, God has been faithful. All our lives, He has been so, so good. Amen. We give God praise. We give God praise. Lift your hands one more time and let's celebrate Jesus. Thank God for His presence. Amen. Amen. Turn around and tell your neighbor, neighbor, you're looking better than you were looking when I saw you last time. Hallelujah. Come on, you may be seated if you can in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. We're going to um we're going to be playing an intro video. Uh but I well as a matter of fact just before we played, I want to say how very blessed, how very honored we are to have my brother uh prophet Joel Lutuka. Amen. Come on, hasn't he been a blessing to us? Amen. This is a great man of God, such a humble servant of God. We have the same spiritual father. We are brothers. And I'm so honored. Prophet Victor Kusiboting, as you know, is our father. And I know he's, he's here in spirit. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for our papa. Amen. Amen. And I'm so delighted to see every one of you. Uh, this weekend has been a tremendous blessing. Friday night. Amen. Go ahead and give God praise. Amen. Friday night. Um, Saturday, yesterday was amazing. Amen. Wasn't it amazing? It was such an amazing presence of God and we thank God. And I know God, God always saves the best for last. And I know his presence is going to, and his power is going to be manifested in a great way today. I want to welcome you. Thank you for coming. And I believe that God has a blessing in store for you. Amen. We're going to be playing the intro video, and right after that, Prophet Joel will be coming to you. Praise God. Prophet Joel Atuka was born and raised in the Democratic Republic of Congo. From a young age, he knew that he was set apart for God's service. Every evening after school in his teen years, he would go around his village preaching Christ and winning souls. In 2013, the Lord sent him to Kenya on assignment. He is the founder and visionary of CLJ Marantha Ministries International, whose main branch is located in Nairobi, Kenya. Prophet Joel Lutuka's vision is returning the church to its first love, the Lord Jesus, by restoring the foundations of God's word, liberating the oppressed, and winning souls to Jesus. He is a dynamic and profound teacher of the word, with a raw and accurate prophetic grace which he uses to comfort, encourage, and edify the church. He is married to the beautiful Sama Lutuka, who ministers along with him. Together, they are blessed with three sons, Jediah, Fanuel, and Jaira. At this time, let us receive Prophet Joel Latuka. Thank you, thank you. Can we do it better for the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God? If Jesus is your Lord and your Savior, can you put your hands together properly and give him a shout of praise? A Sunday shout of praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Just lift your hands wherever you are. And just love on Jesus. Just tell him, Jesus, we love you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. He is the Holy Spirit. He moves mountains. He causes walls to fall. With his power. He performs miracles. He is God. He alone is God. And beside him there is none. What he says is what he shall do. 
He's not a man that he should lie. He's not a man that he should repent. He's God. He's God. He's God. He's God. He's God. He's God. Come on, someone help me here to praise him. Help me here to thank him. Help me here to glorify him. He's God. He's God. He's God. He's God. He's God. Let him be lifted in our home, in our family, in our finances. Let him be lifted today. Let him be exalted over the church and over the people. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise and we exalt your holy name. For you are good and you alone who deserve the praise. Let the place be saturated with your power. Let men and women go free. For your presence is in our midst. Let nobody leave this place the same way they came in. For El Shaddai and Adonai is in the place. Let life be set free. Let the devil check out of the lives and leave people alone. Let people be set free from the chains and be liberated from the prisons. May God be God and the devil be a liar. In Jesus' precious mighty name, the, the chance shout a big amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so, I can't stop to say a big thank you to Bishop Glenn and his lovely wife. Come on, can we do better than for our bishop? Uh, let's, let's love on him and the wife. As I said, and I will keep on saying, that surely in this age and these generations, to see men like him and a woman of God like her, it is totally a miracle. It's a miracle. As my father, Prophet Victor, always say that you can trust your bank account with your money, but it's difficult for you to trust your pastor with your soul. So when you have a good pastor, that means you're in a good bank that is secure in your soul. Bishop Glenn has a gold heart for the people. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I've encountered people and I've seen people, but the genuineness that I've seen in him, I salute it. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. And I believe the way God shows love to us is by placing prophetically the right man in our lives. When we encounter the wrong pastor, the wrong place, so that means you have to question yourself, what are you carrying? But when God places you to the right place and with the right man, that means you have a prophetic destiny that God is securing it. So I will say big thank you to my father, our father, Prophet Victor. As I said, I was not going to know your father if it was not through him. That man is beyond imaginations. He's a blessing to me. He's a blessing to your father. I salute him and I honor him. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. <clears throat> now celebrate yourself for being here today. Thank you. I've been here since Friday and we started something glorious and God started something amazing. And those who are here since Friday and yesterday, God has been doing glorious things in our midst. And I believe the recording and the videos shall be available for those who missed it, that you can go through it and just see what God has been speaking and what the Lord has been doing in our midst. And I believe today, uh, the Lord is going to do his own climax of what he prepared for us. But I'm planning to talk to you as the Lord is planning to speak to us. To God be the glory. 
So let's quickly open our Bible in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 14. And then we'll go to Genesis chapter 49. Still from verse 14. And then we'll go to First Chronicle 12 from verse 32. Are we good? Thank you. So let's go Genesis chapter 1 verse 14. And the Bible say, and God say, let there be light. Somebody shout light. In the firmaments of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be let them be for signs mm, glory to god let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years that's beautiful that's beautiful why so verse 15 the bible says, and let them be for light in the firmaments of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so and god made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and he made the stars also god bless his word and then we're going to go later on in chapter 49 from verse 14 and then we'll go to first chronicle chapter 12 from verse 32 the bible say god okay genesis 49 verse 14 the bible say Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens between two burdens verse 15 and he saw that rest he saw that rest was good and the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear and became a servant unto tribute. That's it. Chronicle. 32 verse 14. 12 verse 32. Yes. Anyway. The Bible says that God made the firmament. And in the firmament, the Bible says God called for light. For the light to illuminate the earth. But in verse 2 of Genesis, 20, of Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says God say, let there be light. And through that light, we could see that creation came through that particular light that God said, let there be light. But later on, we can see when the scripture is ongoing and the verse is ongoing. The Bible says in verse 14, now God came to himself and said again, he said, let there be light in the firmaments of the sky to bring light so that it can not just be a light, but it can be a sign a sign that's the one it can be a sign to separate the day and the night the day and the night and the bible say he made the stars he made the moons and he made the sun and he called the sun to be the greater light to dominate the day and he made the moons to govern and to dominate the night and he said this was good hallelujah so this one they were there to tell the signs and the season and to tell the years and the time to come and he sent them there the stars and he set them there as the moon and the sun and every time the season has to come the star has to appear every time a season has to be read you can read it from the moon or you can read it from the sun because they are their place a sign to tell on times and season Mm. <laughs> and the bible says in chapter 49 that there was a man called jacob 
Jacob brought his children. And he said, my children, come to me. Because I'm about to tell you what your future shall be. Isn't it amazing that the future of some people is simply in the mouth of somebody? Isn't it amazing that when somebody declares certain things in your life, things come in alignment or things get in disalignment? But thanks be to God when God raised shepherd like the shepherd in this house, that he can declare words over your life and things begin to align to the prophetic destiny that God has for you. Can somebody shout a bigger man? And the Bible said, Jacob called all the children. And he looked at Judah and he said, Judah, they shall be this. Hey, Levites, they shall be this. And when he got to Issachar, and he said, Issachar, oh, you shall be a donkey. I, I, I don't think so that was a prophecy. For me, that was an insult. For me, that would seem to be as a curse. How can you call me a, a donkey? How can you explain that's a prophecy inside. It's a donkey. And Issachar maybe could have been offended. This is not a prophecy. How come Judah had the best prophecy? But me, I had this prophecy. You are calling me a donkey. And on top of that, you are telling me that I should carry the burden. It does not make sense. But on top of that, he said, he shall see a good land. And he shall dwell in that land. And prosper in that land. And later on in First Chronicles chapter 12, the Bible says, Hey, now all the tribes of Israel they came together and they said, There is only one tribe in our midst that understands the times and the season. May God raise men and women here like that. When the prophecy seemed to be opposite, when the words came to be like the opposite. Like I am the least among all the tribe of Israel. They call me a donkey, while as Judah is called the lions. But later on, when for them to make the last decision, they all had to gather in one place to consult one tribe, Issachar. Tell us, should we go for the battle? Should we go? Is it the time or is it not the time? And Issachar should be in the place to tell all the tribes, this is the time. Or this is not the time. Can I talk to you? Now, bringing this scripture into alignment in Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says when God set the suns and he set the moon and he set the star, they were there to give a signal of the times and the season. When he was setting the suns and the moon and all that and the stars, he had in mind you and I. Because the Bible says, whomsoever is born of God is from above and is above all. And the Bible says, Jesus called us in Matthew that we are the light of the world. So in another one, in Genesis chapter 1, when God made the light and all that and he positioned the star, he positioned you on top. He saw you and I to be in the place to bring a separation between the day and the night. So when people see you, they see who is blessed and who is cursed. Who has God and who has no God? Who has the blessing and who has the curse? And the Bible says, I set them there, not just to show off, but to be a sign to the world. To be a sign and a season. To be a sign in their family. To be a sign in their community. To be a sign in their school. To be a sign in their work. To be a sign in the nations. Now that's explained to me. And they say a sign that shall tell the season. A sign that shall tell the years. A sign that shall tell the days. So that means there are some men that God has built that, that they are becoming to, and God is calling them to be the days of their seasons. How? The Bible says in the days, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffered its violence. So that's been in that days, there was nobody else name than the name of John the Baptist. Let me tell somebody here, there are some days where you feel like you are oppressed, but there is a day that God is going to give you to have a blessing. 
There are some days that seem to be everything is evil. But there is a day that God has made you to be the star that you shall shine. And the Bible say that Issachar did not understand. But God was prophesying to Issachar that you shall be a signal. You shall be a light. You shall be a wonder. Because later on I see in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah stood and prophesied and he said, for as for me and my children, we shall be a sign and a wonder. So there are some men that God is raising them to be a sign. When you see them, there is a sign. There are some children that God is raising in the family. When you see them, there is a sign. There are some men, they are abnormal. There is a sign. When you see the bishop in such a time as this one, it's a sign that God is communicating to our season, in our time, in our generation, that I'm about to do something. The times and the season. Tell your neighbor, times and season. Can I come to you now? Now, in the times and season, God didn't have any other way to explain it than to bring an image of a donkey to Issachar. And he said, Issachar, for you to understand the matters of life, you have to be a donkey. <laughs> because a donkey is an animal that you can't understand. He's quiet, but he understands the system. <laughs> he looks useless, but he can carry any weight. <laughs> you might not understand God but you might understand God and be quiet you might be called a prophet but I can hear God better than you I'm a donkey it does make sense but Issachar the prophecy cannot make sense right now but after times it shall make sense the times and season can be opposing but after some time it shall make some sense. Why is the donkey? Because the donkey understands the system. And the Bible says, by a donkey, there was a man who called, his name was Prophet Balaam. Balaam was hearing from God. God was appearing to me, to him. But there is a time Prophet Balaam missed the voice of God. And the Bible says he was continuing to his walk. But the one that stopped Prophet Balaam, he was a donkey. Issachar. Sometimes when you are not a prophet, at least you must be prophetic. If you are not prophetic, at least be in the movement where it is prophetic. And that's why this church is prophetic. You might not be prophetic, but as long as you are in the atmosphere where things are prophetic, you shall move in the prophetic. We are in the age whereby you can't do anything in this age if you are not prophetic. In fact, the whole ministry of Jesus was covered by the prophetic. The Bible said Jesus could not move anywhere unless he gave an assignment through the prophetic. He said, guys, go to that village. You shall encounter this and that. Guys, go to that village. You shall see this and that. Go to the sea. You shall pick a fish. And in the fish, there is what? A quince. Everything, all the provision of Jesus was hidden in the prophetic ministry. Nothing Jesus did without the prophetic. When you can hear the voice of God, child of God, at least be in the prophetic move. Be next to the prophetic. Why the donkey? Because the donkey can hear God even when the prophet can hear God. Why the donkey? Because the donkey can see in the angel when prophet Balaam can see the angels. When we understand the times and the season of our life, our eyes opens. And we get the understanding of the donkey. Come on someone, lift your hand and say, Father, I receive the understanding of my times and seasons. Kadosa Branda. Why is the donkey? Because the donkey is the one that God assigned for him to use to enter in Jerusalem. The Bible said there was horses. There was all those things. But the donkey is the one that availed himself to carry Jesus to the place where he's supposed to be. A donkey is an animal that is salvable. A donkey is an animal that understands the visitation of Jesus. When Jerusalem can't understand that Jesus is visiting him, the donkey can see that this one is an unusual man. 
There is a time that God is calling. And this is the time that God is raising men with the understanding of the donkey. Because the last hour is for the men that are operate, operating in the unction and in the anointing of Issachar. Who are the donkeys? Who are operating in the sky? Who are understanding the system? What hour is the church right now? What is happening now in our home? What is happening now in our life? What is it that God is calling us to do in such a time as this one? To make an impact in our place and in everywhere that God has placed us. Why is the donkey? Because the donkey will shall carry Jesus. Why is the donkey? Because the donkey is the one that souls shall look for in order to encounter somewhere. Come on, I'm speaking to someone here. When we understand the system of the donkey, it's a time whereby men are attracted to you. When the Bible says kings and princes, they shall come to you. It is when you become a donkey because a donkey, when it gets lost, soul has to look for it. You get to the place of importance. You get to the place of value when you understand the times and the season that you are living in. Can I start my message? When you understand the times and season of your life, that is the time the yoke get to be broken. Because the Bible said the yoke shall carry the burdens. So that means the burden means the yoke that the enemy has placed on you. It does not make sense that I understand the times and season, but I'm carrying some weight. I'm carrying some burden. I'm carrying some problem. Because a donkey is an intercessor. You are carrying the burdens of the people in the family. You are carrying the burden of the church. You are carrying the burden of the pastor. You are carrying the burden of the vision. That means you are a donkey. Oh, am I speaking to a church here? Because those are the ones that Jesus is looking for. Those are the ones that Jesus is calling for. Those that are placing themselves to carry the vision. Placing themselves to carry the burden. And to say, no matter what, I shall carry the burden on me. I am not here to be carried, but I'm here to carry. I am not here to be helped, but I'm here to help. I am not here to receive, but I'm here to give. Come on, hold yourself. Say, that's me, Lord. That's me. That is me, Lord. That is me. Now that is the understanding of the donkey. I'm carrying the burden. I'm carrying the burden. I'm carrying the burden. Because there is no anointing until there is a yoke. <laughs> I'm speaking to someone here. Because the anointing is made specifically to break the yoke. And whose yoke? Those who are carrying the burden. So that's when in the church when men and women are not carrying the burden, the anointing is not for you and the anointing shall not flow to you. So when the pastor is filled with the power of the Holy Ghost, the anointing is flowing for him. He's searching for men that are carrying the burden with him. Carrying the vision with him. Making sure that he's not crying. Making sure that he's not wasting time in some things that he shouldn't waste time with. Those are the ones that the anointing comes and breaks the yoke out of them. Breaks the yoke. Say the anointing shall break the yoke. He's carrying the burden. He's carrying the burden. He's carrying the burden. But this burden shall be broken the day the donkey shall realize his time is here. My time is here. The Bible say Daniel understood by the scripture the time has come for my deliverance. Daniel understood by scripture that it is no time anymore for me to walk in this castle of the family. He understood by scripture, hey, Israel is supposed to be in captivity only for 70 years. And beyond 70 years, it is an era for me to be in sickness. It is an era for me to remain poor. It is an era for me to remain in bondage because my time is here. I announce to somebody here, your time has come. Your time has come. Your time has come. We unlock it in the realm of the spirit. And we decree and declare, your time must be open. Shalom, Shalom.
Parakusa pakata yamaza. Sante pele paraba. Sometimes your neighbor may not understand the way you pray, the way you pray. How you praise God the way you are praising. Because your eyes can see there is something that is sensing in within you. That my time has come. And I'm praising God because I can see that my time is nearby. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. That time is now. That time is now. That time is today. that's how i pray the way i pray that's why i cry the way i cry that's why i give the way i give i don't need to see my neighbor how he's doing it but there is some revelation that i got that i am a donkey that understands the times and seasons don't mind me the way i'm in church all the time i know why i'm in church you don't know what i went through in my life you don't know when God delivered me out of sickness. You don't know when I was out of the hospital. You don't know when my son almost had an accident. You don't know when I encountered the devil himself. I understand why I praise God the way I praise him. And that's why your prayers should not be like your neighbor. That's why your thanksgiving shall not be like your neighbor. Your thanksgiving has to be by revelation. Because this is who I am. And this is what God has given me. and daniel understood by the scripture bishop he understood by scripture he understood that now it is time for me to drop off this burden Now, it is time for me not to leave this uh, 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 mediocrity now. I understand by the spirit. That's why I love the church that is a world church and a scriptural church like this one. Because when the scripture is spoken, that means there is illumination. And there is the alertment of the times and season. He said, I understood by scripture. I understood by scripture it is time for me now to shine it is time for me now to be that whom god has called me to be there is a dream that i had 12 years ago there is a dream that i had 20 years ago there is a dream that i had two years ago now the spirit is witnessing to my spirit it is time it is time it is time it is time i am speaking to your destiny that it is time i am speaking to your gift it is time I am speaking to your prophetic destiny. It is time. I am speaking to this church that it is time. Come on, tell your neighbor it is time. It is time. Find somebody and prophesy to them. Say, it is time. Pala, pala, soto, pala. My time has come. My time has come. My time has come. I know I've been in the gates. I know I've been sleeping on the gates there. I know I was that as Mordecai. But there is a time that the king in the palace, there is a dream that shall come to him, shall remind him about my name. I know I'm in the prison as Joseph. I know I've done all that God asked me to do. But there is a day, there is a time that the king shall remember me. I pray that the king shall remember somebody here. The king shall remember a woman here. All the sacrifice that you have been doing now, it is the time. Now it is the hour. Lift your hands and say, God Almighty, my time has come. My hour is here now. That you may glorify yourself in my life, my children, and my whole family. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's okay. You can find me by the gate. You can find me by the beautiful gate. Everybody are passing. Everybody are moving. But there is a time that a Peter shall come. There is a time that a John shall come. And then they'll look like they are going, but they'll stop. Because there is a donkey who's sleeping by. He said, no, you cannot pass me by now. The others, they can go, but you... You are the same as Jesus who saw me 
and sat on me. There is somebody here, the Lord is visiting you today. That the burden shall be broken out of your shoulder. The burden shall be brought, broken out of your neck, out of your back. Because the Lord is setting a new record now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You know, now, the Bible says, when Daniel understood the time, the Bible says he went into prayer. That's why I love this prayer and the prophetic conference. He went into prayer. But you see, when he went into prayer, the enemy can see. Men who understand the times and seasons are men of prayer and women of prayers. And the enemy knows those who joke with prayers are people who have not understood the times and seasons. So therefore, they are not functioning in the dimensions, the dimension of the donkeys. When the church is playing with prayer, that means they are out of their place of understanding. Jesus pray. Be the son of God. The Bible says he cried down to God. If you was the son of God, who are you? Not to intercede the way you intercede. We are in the time when we can just do some prayer. Oh, God bless my day. I'm rushing. I'm late. You're even telling God I'm rushing. I'm late at work. Anyway, God, you'll understand me. You know, you understand me. You know the system now. The world is moving on. You know, God. Oh. The Lord is calling us to understand him. Not him to understand us. Because he has already understood us. By giving us his son, Jesus Christ. Time of prayer. The way he activated his time. The way that he understood the time. It was through the way how he was praying. How he was disciplined with prayer. Oh, glory. Discipline with prayer. It is no longer time to open up like this and to stand before men and you are empty spiritually. You got to understand we are living the evil days and the enemy is looking for who to destroy. Sometimes your child might not understand to quit smoking, not by a too good counseling, by a good advice, but it needs sometimes the power to be in the place. The Bible says he shall not hear you Moses unless he face power. Pharaoh shall let the people go. Power is given in the place of prayer. Power to overcome. Power to break the yokes of the enemy. In the place of prayer. When we can go back to the place of prayer. When we can go back in the upper room. The Bible said that is where the sound was given. That is where the power of the Holy Ghost was given. That is where men came back again to themselves. That's where the fear was broken. In the place of prayer. Prayer. When we're in the system today in the world where everything now is scary. Scary, scary, scary. Worry, worry. Worry about even the smallest things. Is a lack of prayer. Lack of prayer. Lack of prayer. You start worrying about even the smallest things. Even a fly flying over. Hey, Jesus, I bind this devil. Hey, devil. It's a fly. Who knows? Maybe it's coming here. You just awaken. You pray. Mm, praying. Mm, I'm a praying. But still, you cannot speak the signal of a fly. Then one day the Lord will send a mosquito. If you don't know a mosquito, come to Africa. They'll wake you up even if you don't want to wake up. Even if you are seeing an angel, a mosquito has the capacity to wake you up. Mm, when you are not hearing, mm, it bites you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer. Prayer. Now there are all sorts of sickness, all kind of sickness because of lack of prayer. 
all sorts of trouble in homes and family because of lack of prayer. Lack of prayer. Demons saturate the place where it is dry. Where there is no oil on you, you are a place for demons. When you are in a dry place, you have a dry life of prayer, a dry life of the word of God. It's a call for demons. Listen, there are two states that can cast out the demons. The number one, when a pastor comes and casts out that demons, and that demons comes out. The number two is when you are dead. Because now your body is useless. He want to eat. He want to feed on by your character, by your words, by what you do. So when he sees that you are laying there, so that's now this is useless. Let me go to another one. I can produce the same character. So the easiest way for you to cast out the devil is for you to die. <laughs> no, don't give me that eyes. I'm talking to people who are dead. The Bible says we are dead to sin, but alive to Christ. Oh, come on, come on, someone give praise to Jesus. So that means a Christian is not supposed to accommodate the demons because he's dead to sin, but alive in Christ. I shouldn't be dry. You shouldn't be dry. Demons should look at your home and say, this is no zone. Because all I can see is oil. I want to learn to a son called Lois, but Lois is filled with the oil of the anointing. The mother is just praying for Lois. When you wake up at night, midnight, call Rapanda Katola Manda. I don't know why God has woken me up, but I just sense there is an assignment. Even if I have to pray for 15 minutes, let me pray for 15 minutes. That 15 minutes can go a long way to save somebody that was supposed to encounter death prematurely. You'll be amazed how 10 minutes can do. 5 minutes can do. It's not always about 1 hour. 2 hours of prayer. When you are weak, pray weak as well. In that weakness, the Lord shall make you strong. But when you are strong, pray strong. But what I don't encourage, when you are weak, and then you are not praying, you are dying. You are dying. At least the little input you are putting is causing your spirit to be alive. You are going through what you are going through because you are dry. You are, the devil is resisting the way he is resisting because you are dry. Because himself is dry and he understands the dimension of dryness. But Issachar, he shall see a good land and dwell in that land. Why? Because of the anointing. The anointing makes the ground to be prosperous. The ground becomes green. It dwells in the place of green, in the place of abundance. The anointing makes you to be that place. The anointing causes you never to be in the place of lack. That's why David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I love it when the pastor said yesterday, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not lie. He leadeth me beside the still water. He makes me lay down. Where? In green pastures. Why? Later on we can see that he puts oil on my hair. And my cup runneth over. He set the table before my enemies. So that means the anointing causes oppositions. That's why when you pray more, there's oppositions. Why? God is pouring more oil. More grace is coming on you. More grace is coming on you. Church, I came to announce you, there is more grace. There is more grace. There is more grace. I'm prophesying to someone here right now. There is more grace. Right now, as you are picking yourself into prayer, right now as you understand the dimension of prayer there is grace that is opening up the heaven is opening up there is grace that god is going to pour mightily upon us today and your life is taking off let me hear somebody shout a big man come on go tell somebody says hey can you hear what the lord is saying tell another one hey do you hear what the lord is saying my life is not about to take a turn around Thank you, Holy Ghost. He understood the time. And then he went into prayer. 3 a.m. is in prayer. 12 a.m. is in prayer. 12 p.m. is in prayer. 
And the Bible said people rose against him. And sometimes, as I tell you, opposition is a sign you are doing the right thing. And sometimes as a church, when we don't encounter the battle in some places, that means we are doing the wrong things. But when we encounter some shaking, that means we are moving to the right way. We are moving to the right way. And he understood the time. And guess what? Lack of understanding of your times and season pushes you more in captivity. While it's in heaven knows, heaven knows this is no more the time for so and so to remain in captivity. For a proof, the Bible said, God said to Abraham, hey, your seed shall go to a foreign land. They shall be captive there for how many years? 400 years. Exact. But the Bible says, when the 400 years came, there was a man called Moses. Moses went, and guess what? He tried to deliver his people by killing an Egyptian. And the Bible says, because of the people of Israel, they could not understand the times and seasons. They fought their own. Sometimes people who fight you is a sign that they don't understand their times and seasons. People who are fighting the church instead of them to join the church is a sign they are not understanding the times and season. Those who fight the pastors and the system, they are not understanding the times and season. And the Bible says Moses, he saw his own people resisted him. He took off. That is the same thing that many things happen and the same thing happened to many people. The only way for God to set you higher in another place, it is through the gate of a man. Men are gateway for your deliverance. Men are gateway for your blessing. When we pray, the only way for God to answer you is through a man. Because God does not violate the principles that he made. The act is given to the children of man. So that means before me to do anything, I have to raise a man to bless somebody. And sometimes when we don't take well men, we push our times of deliverance. We fight our own time of deliverance. Bishop, can I say something here? Satan, who was called Lucifer, the son of the morning star, having kind of the same name as Jesus Christ, he was a beautiful being in heaven. He had access to the kingdom of God. He had access to Yahweh. But what is it that can cause such a man to be in that way? To rebel against God. After all that power. All the access and all the glory. There was one thing. Which is it's the same thing that is happening. To the people today in the generation. Satan that caused him to rebel against God. It was only one thing. He underestimated the power of God. When the enemy wants to eliminate you, then one thing he does, he causes you to undermine what God is able to do. Or to undermine the people that God is, has placed into your life. To, you start undermining your own pastor, undermining your own child, undermining the ability of laying hands and you'll be set free. Prayer becomes a routine. Declaration becomes a routine. Oh, it's always the same. He say always God bless you and let's share the grace. That share the grace, there is a day that share the grace shall be a grace. The enemy sat undermining God Almighty. And he said, hey, I will raise up myself and I'll be also myself. I shall be like the most high God. I shall be like him. Not on top of him, but like him. Undermining what God can do. And undermining or underestimating the capacity of God pushes you into rebellion. And that's why the Bible says Jesus could not do more miracles in Nazareth because Nazareth, there was a curse in Nazareth, underestimate and undermine anyone that is coming from God because nothing good can come out of Nazareth. So that means anything that you want to be good, they undermine it. Here in this place, nobody is good. So that means as much you come, as much you can have God, you are as uh, you are not more, you are like us. So we cannot see you as big. And the Bible said Jesus did less miracle in that place. Why? Because people undermine the power that was in him. Yeah. 
it is time to begin to see the glory and the anointing that God has placed upon your man of God. It is time for you not to see the keys that God has given him for your destiny. They stayed in captivity because they rejected Moses. And they went for another 40 years of captivity instead of 400 years. And that's why the Lord punished them again in the wilderness for 40 years because you rejected me 40 years ago. Oh, come on. Every time you reject the one that God has signed for your life because of some reason, personal reason, you are pushing your days of blessing. You are pushing your days of deliverance. Church, my assignment is simple today. It is time for you to open your eyes and understand the one that God has sent for your life. Yeah. I might come from far as Kenya, Nairobi. My assignment is in Kenya. But his assignment is here. If for men and women like you to take you to the destiny that God has for you. You will see that your life will become more flourishing when you are planted in the house of God and carrying the burden of the vision of the church. When on Sunday like this, Monday, you are there busy evangelizing, making sure that the church is so more full than this. We're having more overflows and overflows and overflows. See New Jersey be under the fire, as I said yesterday. Because a man say, hey, and a woman say, let's carry the burden. It is time the church to buy properties. Build big, big things for God. Amen. This is the time. This is the hour. This is the moment. There is somebody coming next to you who's going to change your story. I'm finishing by this. I saw a vision, Bishop. Long time. And in that vision, I was taken into a place because I was in prayer, crying to God, what's happening? And then I was brought into this place. It was like a white beach place. White sand and all that. But I was kneeling by the river. It was a beautiful river. Calm. Like the flow. It's not moving. It was like calm. And then in that atmosphere, it was so saturated. I mean, with the glory, the power of God. Everything was peaceful. And then I tried to lift my face more like this to see I saw a man walking on the water. And as he was walking in the water, I could not see the face, but I could only see the feet of the man. He's walking towards me. And when he got to me, kneeling down before this giant man, and he starts speaking to me things that are personal for me. And then after speaking things, I heard him shouting with a loud voice. I have commanded a man in the world to bless you. Huh? I have commanded a man to bless you. When he say that in the vision, Bishop, to be honest, I start thinking, I am before the Lord God Almighty. Why assigning a man to bless me, yet you are the one? Wow. Guess what? The way, the, the time I am thinking that thought, I am coming out of the vision, and I was brought on the earth. Now my pursuit was one. Where is the man? Number two, who is the man? I think I'm closing now. <laughs> Prayer. I was no longer praying, God bless me. God, where's the man? Some people here, you have to stop praying, God bless me. God, open my eyes to see my man. I said, I that's it. Where's the man? Where is the man? Where is the man? Until God showed me the man who is today my father. And the miraculous thing is this. The day I encountered him, I had him praying. Because I said, I will not tell him. 
I just want to test. I had him praying, say, Heavenly Father, as you assigned to me and commanded me to bless this man, I say, I'm done. I am at the right place. So this is the man the Lord assigned and commanded to bless my life. There is a man in this place. You are not brought here in vain. The Bible said those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of the Most High God. You are not here by flesh. You are not here by your own will. But you are here by the Spirit of God. Let no man shake you. Let no man take you out. Because the Spirit of God brought you in this place. And tell one, the blessings of the Lord shall locate you. The blessing of the Lord shall lift you up. The blessing of the Lord shall come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arise where you are. Arise now where you are. Arise where you are. Thank you, Jesus. The blessings of the Lord. Make it rich and added no sorrow. It is time for sorrow to quit your home. It is time for sorrow to quit your family. It is time for sorrow to depart out of your life. The blessing of the Lord shall be poured monthly today upon every man and woman that's under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus Christ. You allow me today, as we are going to pray, I'll pray for the sick. Because I know if we touch a prophetic right now, it will take me time. I have to be in the evening by the permission of the bishop. I have to be in Maryland for a service there to go and preach and, and pray for people there. So I'm going to pray. We are going to pray with the bishop to pray for the sick and conditions that are incurable. And we'll see the hand of God. If there is a prophecy, this is the prophecy, it's the preaching that I preach to you. The Lord is telling you, He has commanded a man to bless you. Somebody shout a bigger man. God has heard your prayer, Mama. And He's wiping all your tears. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Are you ready to pray? Remember, prayer is the key to chase away the dryness. Can we chase away some dryness in our homes? Some dryness in our lives? Dryness in our children? Dryness in our finances? Dryness in our body? Dryness in our marriages? Dryness has to come out in the name of Jesus. Dryness has to come out in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands wherever you are. And I want you to just begin to worship the Lord. Just begin to worship the Lord. Begin to thank Him. He's a good God. He's a beautiful God. Oh, come on, lift it up. Something is happening here. Just lift your hands and take off, take, take more of the Holy Ghost. Come on, someone pray. Sim paramaya deveri anturama. Salamara mama mama mama. Andere busaka pora panta katapa. Para to katagi japa. Sete katusa pa katakanda. Palusa takuta pa. Erei katusa mahandi ataka. Palusa takata paraba. Hey takusa mata. Sete para tante pere amaza. Inda parando se de katora mama mama. Beri katosi a pande beri atosa. Eri atande be katusa mahanda. Shala baluntari atora ma santa baramaya. Embrata santa baramaze. The Bible said that the Lord inhabits the presence of His people. When you praise Him, you are calling and you are causing an abiding 
place for the presence of God. When you are thanking Him, you are causing an abiding place, an abiding atmosphere of angel, an abiding atmosphere of the presence of God. Come on, somebody, bring it out and hold, don't hold it back. Don't hold it back. Don't hold it back. Just release it. Release it in atmosphere. Mali matapalania paramaza. Mali matora masanta na mama 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 Oh yes, it's opening up. It's opening up. It's opening up. Don't hold it back. It's opening up. Your spirit is now shaking. Your spirit is now moving. There is a baby shaking now. There is a baby moving now in the inside. Come on, someone. Don't hold it back. Come on, come on. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Sante rebe 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 rebe. Honda marama de borama yande beri yande. Santa palama da maria talama da marama mama mama. Orama santa rama yande rebe 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 rebe. Sante parama santa rama yante. Orama takato rama serebe yanta rama mama mama. Yande rebe sante rebe 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 rebe. Orama santa rama yande rebe rebe rebe. Ay, sabor tapara masa. Andari andorobo, sandi andorobo, sandi andorobo. Marama sandorobo, sandi andorobo zip. Rama sanda Maria de Beri andorobo robo robo zip. Sanda Maria de Beri de Beri de Beri de Beri de Beri de. Rama sanda Maria de Beri de Beri de Beri zip. Ora ma 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 zip. Ora ma 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 zip. Rama Santa Mala Mala Mase, Rama Santa Mala Mala Mase, Rama Santa Ria Tere Rama Mama 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 Se Tere Ria Se. Thank you Lord, Thank you Lord, Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Lift your hands. Tim, help me.
opened my eyes though I was not supposed to do this today but the Lord opened my eyes he said to me to speak to this gentleman because my eyes opened and I saw an altar and I saw somebody standing in Nigeria and I asked him why are you from Nigeria are you from Nigeria you're from Nigeria okay and I saw something it's like God want to do with this young man because God want to build him up and to be a blessing for the church because there is a time whereby he went through a lot of difficulties through a lot of difficulties until even a place whereby he thought maybe to end even to finish his own life because it seemed like he went through a lot of pain but he has a great destiny somehow somewhere God came for him and the Lord is telling me that he's going to bless this man because I'm seeing him in an office and a lot of computer around him computers 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 and the Lord is saying he's going to hush him in that area whereby through that it shall be a blessing and he shall shoot to another night around. Church, can you stretch your hand towards him hallelujah thank you Lord God is touching him today thank you Lord God is changing his story today God is a good God yes Lord oh Labras it might be the same with you too as God is touching him he's touching you too God is transforming you too. Come on, stretch your hands and begin to pray for him. Just pray for him. Just pray for him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Pray for him. Pray for him. Yes, Santa Katamalabea. Hallelujah. Yes, is there another man here called Michael? Because the Lord Michael is your son. Michael. Michael. Is he here? He left. He's over there. I'm seeing the same grace. I see computer. The same thing was coming on him. He left. No, he left. He left. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. The day God is visiting him. Anyway, we are going to pray. May God visit him. I see there is a time coming that God is going to put him into ministry as well. It's, you saw that as well? Yes, yes. Okay. It's like God is going to raise him more as an apostle. Yes. Because I see the teaching ministry in him. He yes. loved the teaching ministry. Yes. And the prophetic. Amen. 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 But we have to pray a lot for his settlements. Yes. Yes. We got to pray a lot. Papa said that. Papa said this. Oh. Yes. Okay. Thank God for our Papa. Put your hands together for him. God is going to raise him high. Very strong. But he should be anointed. He should be prayed for again. And to be ushered to the next level. I see God taking this church to the next level. God is taking this church to the next level. Praise be the name of God. God is raising millionaires. God is raising blessed women and men in this church right now. I see ideas that God is going to give men and women to expand you and to bless you and to take you to the next level. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we pray for Michael. Lift your hands. Just let's pray for Michael wherever he is. The Spirit of God to visit him wherever he is. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. 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 Para teke se preketaka. Para kate pere katapara. Pare katokapa. Touch mightly, Lord. Nekatosa. Zi para katora maseketa. Hey, parosa, the yokes are broken. The yokes are broken. The yokes are broken. Let there be grace in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give Jesus the biggest praise. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, where is your mother? Where is your mother? Where is your mother? She's what? At home. Where? Where is home? Is she here in America? We got to pray for her because I see an arrow of sickness in her body. 
Lately, she has been feeling like a bit of pain, but the pain goes and comes, goes and comes. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. It's like the enemy want to gravitate it and to cause a bad sickness that can lead him into the bed of hospital. But the devil is a liar. We reverse every attack of the enemy. Anyone that the enemy is intending to throw sickness here. Yes. Right now, can we pray? We are declaring a backfire. Say backfire. backfire. Say again backfire. backfire. Any invisible arrows of the enemy to cause sickness, to cause trouble, to cause misunderstanding, to cause death. Right now, as children of the most high God, we arise right now as we are praying. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Come on, join me. Clap your hands and let it backfire. In the name of Jesus. Vele kanto rama zete marama zeketa, ora masande beri atakata, e matakase. Let it be intercepted. 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 Break in the name of Jesus. Let it be intercepted. Let it be intercepted. Let it be intercepted. Let it be intercepted. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Let's sing. Sing with me. Wait a minute. I don't know but I'm, I'm seeing somebody it's like you went to the hospital and it's like they prescribe you something has to do like the symptoms that was almost to do with cancer are you here it's like you went to the hospital and the doctor saw something that is nearby into cancer the Lord told me to pray for you is there anyone like that? Come on. Thank you, mom. God bless you. Come. God is never wrong. Thank you, Jesus. We intercept cancer in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. We intercept it. We intercept the cancer in the name, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Lord. In the name you of Jesus. shall not die yes. in that cancer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank like you, three Lord weeks Jesus. ago, it in the church where minister which is the church of god yes there was a man that was watching online and he sent her daughter because she, he couldn't come out of the hospital mm. he was in a place called mombasa my god mombasa is not the capital of of kenya hey. the capital place is nairobi so mombasa is in the coast in the coast my god so he was watching the service and he said the daughter and he said hey i'm trusting god as you shall be in that service and you bring my subject there, I shall be healed and I shall come out of yes. this bed of hospital. Oh my God. And guess what? The daughter brought the picture. And as he brought the picture, and I said, let's pray. Mm. And we pray. And we pray. And guess what? When we say the man, the guy stood out of us. I see you. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Right now I'm talking to you. It has been three weeks. Oh. The guy is in the, in the house. In the house, well, and the cancer is dying. There is a God in this home. Amen. There is a God in this house. Amen. There is a God who healed the cancer. Amen. Right now, as we intercede, the cancer shall die. Stretch your hand towards her right now. If it was an attack hidden in the womb of time to come to you, yes. as you are praying for her, it shall be intercepted. If it was going to come to your sister, your mother, your anybody that you love, it shall be intercepted. In the name of Jesus, come and join me and pray for her. Let it be intercepted in Jesus' name. Pray for her, pray for her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we command the cancer to die. 
that cancer to die in the name of Jesus and shall never return again in the name of Jesus never again in the name of Jesus the Son of God we declare that the same again to our loved one we declare that the same again in every place of our life that nothing of such shall come near us it shall not come near our children it shall not come near our loved one in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are healing Jesus' name. You are healing Jesus' name. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit of God. God is wonderful. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is an angel touching the back of a woman. I don't know who. But you have been having severe pain at your back. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I mean, I will pray yes, for you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. The back pain is going to disappear in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Son of the Living God. Yes, Lord. We command the back pain to lose you right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Jesus, my Right now. Yes, Lord. Loose. Loose. And let her go in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Let her go. Yes, yes, in the name of Jesus, let the pain go. Yes, and that demon should lose you completely. In the name of Jesus, we be set free, be set free, be set free, we break it, be set free, be set free, be set free, be set free. We break it over in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love on Jesus. Just thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus, every person here with the condition of a sickness, come quickly. Let's pray for you. Let's pray for you. Let's pray for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We command it to leave now. We break it over you. We break it over you. We break it over your body. Ne toki na masha, reke to bala, ete kanda basha, riba baba busha, ere besha. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Shala mara maya, dele diya, na mara maya. Sandi anta katele brazi. Help the bishop just carry the oil, anointing oil, just the oil here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to believe that Jesus is able to do all and everything nothing is impossible to jesus the son of god you shall have testimony that in these three days the lord god almighty has set you free from the captivity of that sickness and of the pain and of that yoke you shall break free from the yoke as that donkey was free from the burdens in the name of jesus the son of the living god i want you to know right wherever you are as you are here begin to confess to yourself that this sickness shall no longer be in your body say you are quitting today right now you are quitting this body right now you are losing this body right now and you are not permitted again to return to this body come on declare that speak to your body speak to your body say you are coming out and you are not returning again in the mighty name of jesus devil come out of my body with all the affliction that you born brought in this body come out in the name of jesus come out in the name of jesus come out in the name of jesus now lay hands in that place right now and begin to rebuke that things right now lay hands on that place begin to rebuke that things begin to rebuke it right now rebuke it rebuke it rebuke it marapa teketaria santa baramayazi Santa Ramaya, dere dere ya Santa Baramaya. Sandere dere 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 dere. Ora ma Santa Rama 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 Santa Rama 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 Zim. As it is written in the Scripture, that if anyone among you is sick, let him go to the elders, and they shall anoint him with an anointing oil. Ali gato la mazim. Ali kasoto sa. They shall be set free from sickness. I declare this oil loses its natural significance and impacted with the supernatural significance of the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 
that every sickness and any yoke of any oppression in your body shall be broken into pieces broken into pieces broken into pieces in the name of jesus the son of the living god thank you holy spirit of god holy ghost be healed in the name of jesus command the devil to come out in the name of jesus father we declare healing right now in jesus the mighty name of jesus christ jesus set free the devil to come out of you we never return again in the name of jesus we break it we break it father thank you we break it we cancel it he cancel it he be healed in the mighty name of jesus the son of the living god kolabashanda ekotabala erebeshata metoka be healed in the mighty name of jesus yes lord that devil shall not kill you that devil shall not destroy you thank you holy ghost thank you lord god is beautiful in this place touch heal father the mighty name of jesus heal and deliver. that devil shall not return again heal and deliver heal and deliver the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, be set free. Be set free. Oh, glory to God! The Lord say you shall serve Him without any complication. Thank you, Lord. Touch and heal your people, Father. Touch and heal. Touch. Touch and heal your people, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of the Living God. That devil of infirmity. User in the name of Jesus. Return no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It shall not touch you anymore, says the Lord. Lose completely. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, never return again to her. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. 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 We break it, we break it. We break it, we cancel it. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The action of the Holy Ghost is on you. In Jesus' mighty name of Nazareth. That devil now is losing you right now. Out of her in the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. In Jesus' name, be set free right now from the crown of your head to the source of your feet. Says the Lord, be set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be made whole. Thank you, Jesus. It is the end of that sickness, the end of the pain, the end of the discomforts. In the name of Jesus, I command that devil to lose this body right now. For yes. this is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Loose, loose, loose in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. And let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of God. You shall not die, but you shall live. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. As you serve him, no sickness shall be in this body. We command the freedom. The freedom in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free. By the power of Jesus, mighty name. Be set free, Jesus, precious name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I declare freedom. I declare freedom. I declare freedom. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Be healed in Jesus, precious name. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God is in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me have the oil. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. God is in this place. Glory, thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, let's lift our hands. Thank you, Jesus. God Almighty, fresh, fresh. Be in Jesus' precious mighty name. Command the force to lose you and that sickness out. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. 
not again the sickness not again that pain be made free right now says the lord be free in the name of jesus the son of the living god master thank you for her life i speak freedom freedom that devil to lose you completely right now right now right now and never return in jesus precious mighty name be set free jesus mighty name jesus thank you precious holy spirit thank you holy and i declare over you be healed be set free be set free be set free be set free oh thank you holy spirit let that devil come out and never return again let that pain go never return the mighty name of jesus the son of the living god thank you jesus yes Oh, glory to God. The Lord said, Fear not. For I am doing a new day. Yes. I am doing a new thing. Yes. Let that complication come out. Let that complication lose you. And be set free right now. now. By the power of the name of the Jesus. Name that sickness Jesus. is coming out right now. Out. Losing out. your body out. right now. By the out. power of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Jesus. Be set free. Be set free. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Yes, Lord. Freedom. 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 Here in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The Lord is gracious to you. And he shall be gracious. And I declare. Thanks, Holy Ghost. Here. He in the mighty name of Jesus and that devil never to return again you are losing man never return again in the mighty name of Jesus the son of the living God be set free be set free be set free in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Holy Ghost thank you Lord Jesus, Son of the Living God, in the name of we Jesus. declare grace and the healing grace. In the name the of healing Jesus. grace, the healing grace, the we lose you from any yoke of the enemy, any demonic altars that is calling your name and calling your land. We break it by the power of Jesus' name. Be set free right now. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. Be set free. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. God is in this place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I Holy declare Lord. healing right now. He came for to lose you completely. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. You shall live and not die. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Lord. Jesus loves you. Receive the fresh healing. A fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. From the crown of hair to the source of yes, your feet. Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Oh. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Be healed. Be healed. Amen. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. It is done. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The church not a big man. Heavenly Father, I pray for a special touch upon your sons. Grace. Grace. Let the every oppressions of sickness over him to let it go in the mighty name of Jesus. Be set free right now from the crown of the of your face. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Master, I command that devil now to lose his man. Let him go. Come not again, you devil. Lose him in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare you free. Precious Lord, thank you for your precious touch. Touch him mightily, touch him mightily, touch him mightily, touch him mightily. Whatever what the pain was, let it go and never return. Never again. That demon will leave you completely. Yes, Lord. Yes, to lose you. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Be healed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The church shall be your man. Come on, let love for Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Glory be to God. Now watch this. Every eyes closed. And you had the word of God. And you desire to dedicate your life to Jesus. The son of the living God. Can we lead you to Jesus today? 
you want to give your life to Jesus can you lift your right hands to Jesus right now you want to give your life to Jesus if you want to give your life to Jesus you want to give your life to Jesus come to me come to me God bless you come to me God bless you no fear you desire to give your life to Jesus Christ just lift your right hands fear not come Jesus loves you Jesus loves you come come to me sister God bless you you desire to give your life to Jesus Christ. Come on, let's put our hands together as they are covered. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. God bless you. Wow. Come on, give Jesus a big hand. Come on, join the group. 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 God bless you. Today is that, that day that the Lord is calling you. Today is that day that Jesus Christ is calling you. And it is that day. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of the Lord. I'm so glad to have you here. Church, can we join them in prayer as they are having Jesus in their life? Glory to God. Can we pray together with them? Come on, join me then. Let's pray together. Stretch your hand towards them. And it's a great day for me. I'm so happy to welcome you to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I want you to say it loud and confess it from the bottom of your heart. Okay? Let's say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. I believe I believe that you are the son of the living God. You are the son of the living God. I believe I believe that you died that you died and you rose from the dead and you rose from the dead and you are seated and you are seated at the right side of the Father at the right hand of the Father and you are coming and you are coming to rescue me to rescue me with you with the Lord. Jesus Jesus I believe I believe from today from today and forever and forever that you are that you are the Lord and the Savior the Savior of my life of my life in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Jesus thank you Jesus I'm born again I'm born again I believe in your name yes amen amen God bless you congratulations what's your name Carolina wow Charles God bless you my sister there what's your name Dalili wow you guys have beautiful names here beautiful names god bless you you are all loved i remember I called for the three prayer subjects do you have it okay come with the prayer subject come with it with the bishop we're going to receive that your three prayer subject those who are not here the assignment and the instruction was to write three prayer subject three major prayer subject for your life and then raise up also a sacrifice and a seed of 500 dollars or 300 dollars can just come with it if you want to get an envelope right now you can just write quickly right now a prayer subject the three prayer subjects you can write it very fast and quickly the three prayer subjects and you can bring it here right now thank you holy spirit of god i have the envelope how many want to get the envelope you want to get the envelope also today come and get god bless you thank you holy spirit we saw in order to see the harvest Man. we sow in order to see the harvest blessed be the name of the lord is anyone else you want to take the envelope thank you precious holy spirit thank you lord come quickly come quickly thank you holy spirit of god just move forward on here. thank you jesus Bishop say you can also give by debit card or credit card. But I would love everybody to participate in this sowing because there is a raid that God is sending in this church. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh my life, you have been so, so. everyone to participate even if you want to sow a hundred dollars just come and pick the envelope come and pick something sow in the altar for the lord god shall visit you 
Come quickly. God bless you. You have been faithful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am made. God bless you. Make sure you write three subject of prayer. Three subject of prayer. Amen.